The heat is on in the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series today in Charlotte, North Carolina. And it is a pressure cooker for Chris Demke and top alcohol dragster. He will go anywhere, take on anybody at any time to protect a first time title he believes is his in the making. After Mother Nature forced the cancellation of racing at ZMAX, the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series via Dallas, Texas is now in Reading, Pennsylvania. But the scenario pretty much remains the same as we complete the Carolina Nationals today at Maple Grove Raceway in the Keystone State. Well, through the magic of digital media and teleportation, we are now three weeks in the future. The only thing that remains the same, that's Alan, and I'm Dave. And I guess it's sort of the same for Demke, but it's taken a little bit of a twist. Yeah, it's very strange for Chris Demke. He's had a couple of chances to go ahead and lock this championship. Had one down in Dallas, couldn't close the deal. That was after Charlotte. Yes. Yeah. They originally were not coming here. After the Charlotte race rained out, the sportsman guys have an opportunity to withdraw, and the race just disappears. It wouldn't count against him. He'd still have one left to claim, which would either be Vegas or Pomona. They made a last-minute decision, said we're two rounds away. Let's go to the Grove. Conditions usually are great. Cars are fast. We've got a fast car. Let's not break our own momentum. So they are here in the house. You mentioned they could have done it in Dallas, yeah. but then that's when Chris Demke came up against Joey Severance in the semifinals of this race. Needed to win this one, needed to get to the final win up there too, but Joey said not so fast. Yeah, Joey Severance is having a pretty good year. He hasn't had the travel schedule that Chris Demke has, but notice the speed on Demke, only 232 miles an hour. I'm not sure it would have mattered. Severance's car was running very well, and he kept his slim title hopes alive. So what that did for him is in essence took a round out of what he needs to do. He needs to get to the final here today at Maple Grove Raceway to clinch that first time title. The second round in Maple Grove today looks like this as the number one qualifier gives up lane choice to Jeff Veal, Dwayne Shields, Rich McPhillips. An interesting matchup. The story, though, for Chris Demke, very simple. Beat Richie Burke coming up here in the second round and then beat the winner of Jackie Frick or Bill Riker. Chris Demke was one of only two cars that ran in the 520s on the one run they've had on this racetrack. So they've got to be feeling pretty good about having a handle on the car. It's really just a matter of whether or not Rich and his team can step up. Sean Kernan is standing by with the California racer today in Pennsylvania. You certainly can't question the resolve of the Madden family racing team as Chris Demke tries to win the championship. This car has not been back to the shop since Topeka. A long, long time ago. So, Chris, yes. why in the world would you guys go through all this to try and win a title? Well, why? We've been trying for over 20 years, and uh, you're exactly right. That we we packed up, and uh, the the. The rig and the race car have not been back to the race shop since last May. After our parts attrition we had earlier on in the season, we parked the car for a bit and uh, figured out what the problems were, went to Topeka, didn't go very fast, but didn't hurt any parts. We knew we were onto something. And after Topeka, went to a, a regional race in Acton, Montana, won that, and we've been on a tear since. So there's been no reason to go back. Honestly, we were planning to go back after Charlotte, um, or after Dallas, I'm sorry, but because we're the Charlotte rain out, we figured we had to come here to Maple Grove and see if we can uh, finish that Charlotte race here and uh, close out the championship. Well, I hate to say it because I don't want to jinx him, but all he needs is two little round wins to grab that title. Setting season for the win. Look at Hamburger Mike. They've censored it. They offered me a pair of those glasses. I told them I think they'd put me out of business if I wasn't allowed to talk because I, I, I get paid for that, you know. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, there's no question about it. Those guys definitely have a good time, but they also are very serious about their racing. Two rounds away from the championship. How has Richie Bork been so far this weekend in qualifying for the NHRA Nationals? Well, Richie Bork hasn't run as well as Chris Demke has, but we know that that car is capable of stepping down into the 30s. It's just a matter of whether they can, they can do it right here and right now. Got a couple of hundred reaction time. Well, um, look at Demke and the P right through streak to the finish line. 5.28-1, they are now one round win away. That's lane choice for the championship run against Bill Riker. Bill Riker. That's going to be a fun run to watch. We talk about a team, just we talk about Dale Brand handling the pressure thus far. So too is Chris Demke. He got the new chance. He's all the way out here in Pennsylvania trying to take that championship home to California. And he will be facing Bill Riker in the semifinals. And Bill, you ran a uh, 36 with a five, but more importantly, your last weekend that you're just getting started here. What are the emotions like right now? Well, it's hard to say, you know, I, it feels good that uh, we're doing well and stuff, but I don't know. I, I sure don't want to quit, but I have to. So it's just one of them deals that you got to do, you got to do. You going to take it easy on Demke in the semifinals? No, we're going to give him everything we got. He's ahead of us already. So I'm sure he run faster than we did. We didn't run real fast on that run. So we'll do the best job. 
Yeah, he, uh, Bill gives up lane choice to Chris Dimke in the semifinal. Yeah, but from 2006 to 2010, he ruled this class. <laughs> Is this the guy that's going to rule it in 2014? Feeling pretty loose. Looking more like it by the minute. We'll find out before the end of this show. It's a happy hamburger, Mike, who's still censored. Now we can't see anything. Look out. <laughs> He went from speak no evil to see no evil. John Curtis. Chris Dempke right now, 28 with a one, 273.39 miles an hour. I guess it's set on kill. Is this the day? I wouldn't say it's on kill, but it's on real fast right now because we know even though it's qualifying, it's elimination for Charlotte, and I could tell that was a monster run. So it wasn't quite quite where we think it should be, but I, I know it was going to win the round. I, I, I hate to ever going on, on defense, but, uh, you know, we got a couple more rounds to go here. I think I just made it, so uh, the best Joey Severance could do is tie me now. And uh, one more round to go, and it's all mine, buddy. It's, or I shouldn't say mine. It's it's our team. That's, it, uh, one more round, and our team wins that championship. That's okay. Your name will be on the trophy. I don't want to think about it. I'm just here having fun. Though, right. Right. So, all just, right. Hope to see you guys next round. Drivers Woo! never count points. They'll no, count all the time. No. Uh, whatever happens, uh, no big deal. <laughs>